think it's a well-rounded, high-volume program. It's, in a lot of ways, unparalleled nationwide. I mean, there's very few other fellowships that have the exposure at the levels that we do to work with a professional football team, to work with a professional baseball team, to work with a Power Five, Division I university, to have the exposure of essentially all the athletics over there, and then also adolescent and high school sports. What you're going to see here is the breadth of sports, whether it be knee, shoulder, elbow, hip, foot and ankle. So it's the well-roundedness of the program that I think is a big strength. We're kind of a work hard, play hard mentality. We're extremely busy. Your caseload will be high here as opposed to other places. The breadth of experience that all of the attendings have, they're trained in lots of different places and have different ways of approaching similar problems, but they all get great results. So having that experience and learning all those different techniques is really helpful. We certainly have put a lot of value on research. We require that the fellows each year have at least two projects that are published or publishable in a peer-reviewed journal, uh, and our, our fellows have thus far, far exceeded that. We always have multiple projects going, at least 25 to 30 projects at all times, so it's easy for the fellows to get involved. They're able to do the fun parts of research where they don't have, doesn't take as much time and they're easy, able to produce and see things to their finish. Our uh, clinical settings, I think, are unique here as well. Um, we have uh, two main um, ambulatory clinic sites that we work out of. And then our uh, other main was actually in Arrowhead, the training facility for the Kansas City Chiefs. The nice thing about being at Arrowhead uh, is that it allows us to take care of um, the, the Chiefs players while simultaneously we're taking care of the patients that are in our practices. To get into the locker room and work with the athletes and have that not be a weird thing or be preventing me from be getting those experiences, that was really important in understanding how the um, athletic programs deals with um, females. It's very important to have a program where you have both women involved and racial minorities because those are the patients that we see and seeing how the patients interact with the physicians, especially physicians who are more similar to where they're coming from in their background, can help me interact with my patients in the future. One thing that uh, maybe uh, gets overlooked a little bit is the, the city that we're in, Kansas City. I think it's a perfect mix between big city but also uh, kind of suburban opportunities. I think it's well suited for the single individual that wants to get a loft and live downtown. I think it's also well suited for the fellow that has a family and kids and wants a yard and garage and good schools. I think you can find that, you can find it affordably around here. I think it's a really fun experience. They see all kinds of new things. They have, it's a, I think they have a great time. They get along with everybody and they have all different types of experiences. Their experience with college, it's really hands-on and they really take things on their own and they're able to really kind of run with that.